So first of all, the number of things that we are going to need to design this uh, interchange. Uh, first of all, we are going to need to apply a script. This is one of the scripts that I like. Uh, the beauty with it is called dynamic offset and it allows you to offset a number of lines. So to add it, you type in a command called upload and then you look for the script. It's called DCO. You load it. That's the name of the command. So let's load DCO. Oh, it's dynamic offset. Now what does dynamic offset do? Dynamic offset helps you, let's say you have a line, because you're dealing with the express rays. Uh, let's say this is our center line, which I want to have a yellow. When you do an offset, let's say I want to offset what we talked about in regards to 0 0.6. I want to offset 0 0.6. And then after that offset 3.65. You find that we're going to be going back and forth offsetting all this, which can become a bit really cumbersome in that regard. So uh, that's where the script uh, for that's where the script comes into play. So what the script does is that it tries to what the script does is that when you're offsetting, uh, if you type in DCO it's going to ask you for specify the offset distances separated by spaces. So what I normally tend to do is I have a note here that's showing uh, what distances I want to offset. So we earlier talked about uh, there's a 0 0.6 for the median, then a 0 0.75 for the marginal strip, then the two lens, then the 2.5 and then the earth shoulder. So I just select all these and I type them in. Paste hit enter it's going to ask you to specify the side you want to offset you choose the left side and then it offsets you choose the right side and then it offsets so you find that then we can start making a modification you find that one you already have something that really looks neat already and it's something that can work in that regard And so you, you find that we already have uh, something we can start with. So it's a script you're going to be using a lot in this course. And it's something that I recommend you get. And it's 215. Okay. So that's one of the scripts you're going to be using. Um, the other is there are things you have to change. The second is change something we'll call, call quick properties. So type in QP mode, this changes quick properties, and then change uh, uh, change that to one. Most I think what you have is zero. What this does is that if you have a line, if you have a line and you select it, quick properties come up here and you can change things like colors, which I tend to love to change. Then the second command is something we call selection cycling. So selection cycling, something that's really important in regards to uh, you type in selection cycling and you type in a value of two. And what this does is that if you have two lines that are overlay each other, so for example, you have that line and then I'm going to draw another line over it. And I'm going to give that line a yellow color. So you find that these situations, you can select both of the lines using quick selection cycling. So you can select a line below the other. There'll be situations where we shall need this.